Good morning, my lovely Libras. How are you? It is Lori. Look at this. I have just rolled the Zodiac die and you have once again rolled your own energy front and center. So Libra energy, Aquarius, Pisces, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. I will tell you, I just started this message, kept bloopering and decided to restart it. You have rolled the exact same uh, signs as the first time. All right, we're going to ring the little chimes. That invites in some fun energy here, all right? Let's go ahead and get your daily message done here. Let's see what uh, your overall energy is going to be, any obstacles or challenges you, that you might be facing. We'll get you your immediate future. We'll take a look at your probable outcome if you stay the course with us. At the end, I will get you an angel number okay some numerology here to go along with your message let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is going to be for this message you got the two of wands in the other one so some of you were having a decision to make you got ten of pentacles here so your overall energy is stable secure feeling connected to those around your family friends community your tribe everything feels really right right now um, you are focused on your future, what you can leave for someone else, I'm hearing. So not you're doing something. You've got something on your mind. This may be what that decision, that Two of Wands decision is, um, about your long-term stability, long-term legacy, what you want to leave behind for others, um, and where you want to be. In your old, in your old age, okay? So this is long-term thinking, not instant gratification. Good energy here. Let's see what the obstacles are here. What are some of the challenges you might be facing in this situation? What are you looking at that may be blocking you, keeping you from achieving what you want? I hope everyone here is happy, healthy, and having some fun. And if you're not, my prayers go out to you. I love each and every one of you. And I always only want the absolute best for everyone. So if you're celebrating something wonderful in your life, I also want to congratulate you, give you a pat on the back, give you encouragement, and let you know that your hard work is paying off and someone is recognizing it. So always drop a comment. Let me know how you're doing in life. Doing well? Challenges. That's all you have to say if that's all you want to say. All right, let's see what the obstacles are here. Four of Cups. Okay, so <laughs> I'm hearing for some of you, you've got a, a plan here for how to have long-term stability, but it's boring the heck out of you. Like you don't want to focus on this. I, I'm hearing some of you feel like you, if you took a nine to five job with a company that ugh, you're not excited about, but you know it pays you good, then you're going to achieve this goal. Ask yourself if that is truly what you want to do. Do you want to live now? Or do you want to take the chance of just living possibly at 80 years old with, you know, whatever? So it is, a, it's, a, it's kind of like um, boredom. Yeah, you may be contemplating doing something that you know you have to do, but you may not want to do. All right, so that's a pretty good challenge. And the decision of which way to go is always yours, okay? It's always a choice. It's always a choice. Ask yourself what is the most important thing to you, and then you do that, okay? All right, let's go ahead and see what you are thinking about in this situation. The Magician, how to pull everything together, where to get your answers, where to get your resources, where to put your resources. Um, I do feel like I am hearing actually from that some of you are going through a divorce and this is what you're looking at now, how to rebuild what you want. You're feeling pretty good and pretty confident that you can do this, which is awesome because if you're confident you can do it, you will do it. There's no doubts about that. 
Uh, what I am hearing here is you will be looking at all of the resources that you have available to you. Fixing something, mending something, creating something unique, different, thinking outside the box even with this magician. The magician is constantly trying new and different things. Uh, once something's achieved and he's repeated, he or she, the magician, magician has repeated that process and knows that that's something that they can recreate, manifest over and over again, then they move on to something else. But they master each skill first, okay? So letting go, creating something, positive thinking, whatever it is. Putting money in a piggy bank may be the best way for you to save money. So for someone else, it might be investing in a, a CD, okay? It's going to be different for each person, but once you figure out what works for you and you master that and you just keep doing that uh, positive thing over and over again, it works. You can move on to the next thing that you can uh, create. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here for the foundation. Three of Swords, you guys have been through it. I will say that. My lovely Libras, you've had some disappointments, heartbreaks, okay? It, but if you look, this heart is whole. The heart itself is complete. It's whole. It's not broken anymore. So there's been some healing here. There's been some release of the damages that were done. All right, things are being pushed into the past. You've, you're dealing with the emotions of the situation and healing from it. You're moving forward. Beautiful. Yeah, those words will always be there. But you get to choose on uh, uh, whether you're going to focus on those things or not. And I don't see very many of you wanting to focus on the past. And if you're constantly talking about the past and things that people did to you, you are only keeping yourself in this energy, okay? Because you're reviving the negative all the time. If you are somebody who is helping others, like you're doing TED Talks and you're talking about the things you've been through, that's one thing. You are definitely helping other people. But if you're talking to friends and family constantly about, or new people you meet, about what happened to you, all you're doing is hurting yourself. And I see a lot of you releasing this. You're healing your heart, okay? That's what forgiveness is for you. For It's for you. Forgiveness is not about forgiving the other person. It is. It's just saying that they need to go live a beautiful life and that you wish them no ill will. That's what forgiveness is for them. For you, forgiveness means I'm not going to keep putting myself through the damage that that person created within me. You're going to heal from that damage. You're going to move forward. You're going to live life again. You're going to be a beautiful, creative being, the divine being that you are. All right, so the foundation of the situation is this disappointment, um, heartbreak, whatever it is, okay? And the foundation is that you're healing from it. You're going to move past those things. You've got to, your heart may just be, just be a tender little thing right now, but it's growing and it will grow. All right, let's see what your immediate future holds for you. Look at that, the fool, the fresh start, the letting go of the past and being in the present moment. The fool is always in the present moment, doesn't know what the future holds, is not afraid to face the future. In tarot, facing to the right is the future, facing to the uh, left is the past, okay? This fool is full on facing the future. No fear. This is you, you and your beautiful energy. You are releasing. Look at all the birds flying. The arms flung out wide here. You are releasing, letting go of the past and being in the present moment. All you can ask from yourself is to think positive every moment that you can. If you need to be in the moment of despair, if you need to be in a moment of grief, be in that moment. Honor whatever that is, but don't stay there. Move forward. Look at that. Let yourself be free. Set yourself free because nobody else can do it. Your immediate future looks fantastic. Go for it. Now, I, I'm also hearing uh, freedom just from the worry of what you're trying to create here for the future. 
All right, let's see what your past influences were. The Queen of Wands. Hmm. Supporting character role, but also uh, somebody who may have been... Yeah, this is somebody from the past, or it could be your past energy here. Um, if it's somebody from the past, Aries, Leo, Sag energy, somebody with a lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of charisma. Um, this could have been somebody that you're divorcing here, okay? You have Sagittarius on the uh, Zodiac die, so more than likely that's who it's going to be. I, I do feel like it could be your energy in the past. A desire to do something, but needing to take a back seat to somebody else, which is not good for the Queen of Wands, okay? Queen of Wands is charismatic, trusts herself, does her own thing. You know, doesn't do it aggressively, does it confidently. All right, so the past situation may be somebody around you just was a little more um, passionate, driven than you were, and their, their way took precedence. All right, let's see how you're viewing yourself, how you're going to view yourself in this situation. Now, this could be happening for you already. It could be happening for you in the very short-term future, or this could be happening for you five years down the road. Tarot and time are both uh, fluid. They move at their own pace for each and every one of us, okay? So keep that in mind. How are you viewing yourself in this particular situation? Oh, too many cards. But we have true and authentic with the Queen of Swords, and we have the Ace of Cups there. Okay? So being yourself and looking for something new, wanting to start something fresh. Let's see what comes out. The Seven of Swords, strategic planning, okay? You've moved past the Three of Swords. You've gone to the Four of Swords. You've made peace with something here. You've forgiven. You've set yourself free. Then you had the Five of Swords, a challenging situation here with this Queen of Wands energy, whether it's within you or someone else. Then you were successfully overcoming that, okay? Uh, six of Swords, you moved past that. Your life is becoming easier and easier. And at this point, you've got the Seven of Swords. You're strategizing. You're thinking things through. You may be talking. You may be going to therapy. You, um, you're definitely not staying stuck in any negative energy. This is strategizing, okay? And you are being divinely protected here. Your truth your truth is being divinely protected. See that swan with her arms, their wing arms. <laughs> I didn't know swans had arms. With the wings spread out in a protective energy of the truth here. That's your truth, okay? So you're strategizing, planning, only talking to who you need to, to, to talk about this with. And yeah, look at the purple coming down from this Queen of Wands energy down into that Seven of Swords. There's actually a tinge of purple in every single card here. So this is a slow process of healing that you've been going through, but it's steady and it looks like it's increasing here, which is fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening in your environment concerning this situation. Three of Pentacles, everything's working out. You are working with others. You are collaborating. You're coming back to yourself. You're starting to feel more grounded. You're seeing that you have support. See how this person's lifting the other one up? All right. A chameleon, a time of change. And this is a green chameleon. That's grounded energy, but it also is go, move forward. Okay, growing, expansion, changing, transformation here. Things are working out. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Let's see what else, what the next card reveals for you. So things are working out. You're working well with somebody. This could, three of pentacles could be mind, body, and spirit. You getting yourself in alignment. I am hearing somebody's working on their chakras. Good for you. That's a great place to start. Focus on yourself first. All right, we have the Five of Swords, which we I said here just a little while ago. This is in your hopes and your fears uh, position. What I'm hearing here with this Five of Swords 
in this position is you are worried that you are going to have to fight to the death. Not literally, but, you know, put every single bit of effort into um, achieving your goal here. Now, we also have um, the opposite energy of willingness to move past, okay, to you've successfully with the four of swords, You've successfully made peace. Now with the five of swords, you want to maintain that. There might be a challenge to that energy. You may not be feeling very confident. Somebody may some say something hurtful or disrespectful to you that makes you wonder if you can hold this new position. Yes, you can. This is just your hopes and fears. This is not reality. Okay. But there is healing in here. You are hoping for more healing to complete that. All right, let's go ahead and see what your most likely outcome is going to be with this message. So this actually looks good. And those are very normal fears. Very normal fears. And hope of healing? Absolutely. That's beautiful. You still have that hope. You still have that dream. And you are moving towards the Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. So just keep going. Just keep going forward, okay? Look at that strength. Yes, you do learn lessons as you go through this, and it makes you stronger, more confident, more trusting of yourself, more trusting of the energies around you, the people around you. You have different resources available to you. You have water, you have air, you have earth, you have fire, okay, within that earth energy there. And of course, if there's smoke, there's a fire somewhere. You also have a cat. You're trusting yourself. Oh, you've got two cats. You've got the smaller one, which is your truth here. And then you've got this big one that you're maintaining. You are having um, courage and bravery to trust yourself, to trust those energies around you, to trust your higher power. Beautiful energy there. This is a Leo uh, energy, but it is also... Fire energy. So that could be Sagittarius or Aries again, okay? And with this, um, you have, you're showing compassion to yourself. You're feeling more secure in your life. You're showing your strength, your own character. Trust is huge here. It is big, okay? All right, let's get you your Angel Whispers. Numerology number here, Angel number. This came out right away. So here it is, zero, zero, zero. This is guidance, okay? You, angel whispers, you have full support of the divine. The guidance that you are seeking is here, and your life is moving in the right direction. This is the start of a new beginning, where one cycle has ended and a new one is beginning. All right, don't forget to tickle, tap, boop, or zap if uh, this is your message or if you just liked this. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates and you come back in the future. If you're one of my awesome, lovely, lovely Libras who returns day after day after day, I love you to pieces. Either way, thank you for being here. Don't forget to claim this in the comments. Tell me how you're doing. Um, and also, if you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. That information is below every single video. Click on that info that says five links and, or five more links or whatever it says. And then scroll down until you see the actual link that will take you to whatever you're looking for. If it's a personal reading, you email me and then I will send you all the details. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.